Okay guys, the name of the tool is Render Boost. What this does, it will reduce your render time. Do you like it? I love it. I just love it, okay? I've been testing all the, the tools out there to do the same thing, like you name it, key, X, whatever cycles, versions you have out there. None of them really satisfy me. I don't use one of them because for me, those are just cycles, cycles, tweaks here and there. And doesn't really help me to reduce my render times without losing quality or even with a, a kind of acceptable reducing quality. Okay, I work with Artfish and um, yeah, so I've been using all those tools and I'm always, I was always looking during my OPF on a 3D uh, production, looking for. Uh, reducing render time, so I've been using Cry Engine, uh, Unity Engine, uh, uh, Unreal Engine, Unity, you name it, Corona V-Ray, 3D Max, uh, I've been using Redshift, all of those. I was always looking for something that reduced my render times, and I found good results. I got something here, something there. Cycles now is way faster than, faster than before, but still, if you need to render an entire interior scene, with a not that amount of uh, light source coming or maybe to a window or maybe something you will still struggle if you have a floor with a uh, fancy texturing on the reflection you will still struggle with uh, denoising glitching here and there and you have to increase your samples to get rid of it that's life that's how it works okay unless you use one d5 or to uh, a lot of solutions out there like Unreal, you know, Inkscape, things like that, and you still you are still missing something from realistic point of view if you are using cycles. Okay, just cycles. Let's talk about about cycles. Okay, what these two these two gives me was the possibility of render animations uh, that doesn't have that much objects moving because that's an issue with this tool unfortunately at this point but I would say 70% of my scenes that's the scenes that I make that it doesn't have that much objects in movement and I still have to try more this the, the tool because I push it to the limit the tool or the limit of quality which I will show you and it gave me like impressive results the, the video you saw out there, you saw the difference, right? I rendered out one animation cycles in uh, one hour, in uh, almost two hours, the, the, the cycles, the regular animation I did, and it took me, uh, and it was useless, okay? Because I, have, uh, I, I should increase the samples like to a point that I get rid of all the denoise and it just doesn't happen and the scene was useless, totally useless, glitching never. you could see that, okay? And I, using this tool, I could increase the samples higher, okay? And it still got 1 hour 30 minutes to, to render the entire scene, perfect, perfect, the scene was perfect, okay? So you couldn't see any issue at all, no flicking in anything, okay, the scene was perfect, using less time. This means that you can reduce your animation many times, a lot, up to six times, and that's real, that's not bullshit, that's not uh, the story that they're telling you from a bunch of scenes combined and then show you that the tool does this and that, no, I downloaded, I got the tool, I bought the tool, I tested. That's what I believe. And I test and I really get some results. That's why I'm doing this video because I'm happy in this change my perspective of my work that I'm doing right now uh, at the studio and uh, you no know, things that I'm gonna do different, like, differently now just because of this tool. Okay? I will show you how the tool works. As soon as, soon as you install your tool, it doesn't change anything here on your regular render tab, just on the output tab it will add this render boost. You just need to worry about these two settings. For now, I didn't test that much. I don't use the denoise of the tool, I just use the regular denoise. And you go to all your output data here, save your file, don't name it because if you name it the tool will get confused, just leave it blank. And go here, 
you have your frame range which by default is like this and then the only thing you need to press is sync when you sync you sync with this multiply uh, values okay oh, sorry range I want to yes increase so you guys can see better okay uh, and then you change it here change it both okay this means the amount of depolation two means that you will reduce your animation two times three reduce three times four five six so I'm reducing the time of this animation up to six but it's not just that it's more there is more what is that happen? What does that happen? Because it will interpolate between frame one and frame seven, so or frame zero and frame six, it will interpolate the frames, okay, in a way that it will create uh, intelligently the frames in between. You know what I mean? This this is an awesome. This is a tool that some uh, plugins for After Effects does. Want to go that? Uh, and basically uh, the, like tweaks or increase three uh, one animation which is 30 frames per second increase to six frames per second by doing this interpolation now you have the interpolation here inside blender so that's amazing okay so let's render this guy you see let's render this guy okay and see how it goes and while i'm i'm going to be talking to you okay why that's important that's important because uh, if you have uh, one animation, uh, I did the, I did the test with the same sample, sampling. So the scene that is totally useless that I render out with cycles, there was glitching all over the place at 100 frames. Uh, that you saw the video at the beginning. Uh, I I just changed it. I just changed, put the render boost at six interpolation and render the same scene at 120 it took me 11 minutes it goes from one hour 40 around 40 minutes to 11 minutes to render the scene and then the interpolate when you see that scene if you go zoom in you can tell that the floor is glitching but everything else it works everything else it's good okay so I got some glitch in the floor. It's totally different from the cycle scene, which, by the way, the render is done. Which the scene is totally glitching everywhere. So because even that, if you don't have that amount of samples, just the interpolation, just kind of blend the samples for you, and then I kind of confuse your eyes in a way that you don't see the glitches easy. Okay, this means that you can even re you can even reduce your sampling your scene and you would not have that much artifacts I will show you why what's gonna how it works okay so here those are the frames you render it out you just need to go to the same folder your frames are rendered out here in your render boost pro tab and then you interpolate it okay when you press interpolate it it will create a folder and then it will start to create the frames in between like it's a kind of I've, I don't know I'm calling this AI because I have no idea how they do that I have no idea that's amazing that's really good and let me see when it finished you will see how perfect this is okay it finished you see quick it wasn't quick for me it was quick so go here and then let me open a new new project don't save so I go to my output here select my sequence okay that's the sequence ID let's see how it goes man you see that you see that the tool just create those frames out of nowhere it wasn't rendered those frames wasn't rendered it was just six between six frames and then the tool creates the interpolation like I don't know how but it's just amazing man if you go if you zoom in if you zoom in you see that i didn't apply any denoise okay but you see man the interpolation just works well look at the textures on the ground you see 
it just works well. That works. That's something that really works. I'm so excited. I hope this guy keeps developing this tool for a while. And if he can figure out the issues with animation or uh, animated objects on this, on this scene, that changed the whole thing for me. That will change the whole thing. That's the, one of the tools that is worth more that I ever paid on the Blender Market for sure. At least for me, at least personally. And I'm telling you, I give nothing. I own nothing to anyone. And then I, I'm just saying here to you what really works for me. And this tool for me, works and I'm using already on my production yeah that's amazing this should be inside blender that too should be inside blender anyway if you like my channel subscribe give a thumbs up if you don't like it thumbs up and uh, I have my products on blender market which are generators if you want that kind of uh, help you out to Make your scenes faster, environments, a uh, bunch of housing, neighborhood, roads, anything like quickly using geometry nodes. I have the tools that you may like it, that you may are interested. Just go the links in the show, and I'm posting the link of uh, Reddit Boost be below as well. So, on the comments. So, you go there, check this out, try it out, and Comment below what you think about it and if you like the tool, if you don't like it. I think it's 30 days refund. If you don't like it, you'll get a refund anyway. So that's it. I hope you guys like it. See you soon.